It's a funny old life being a cinema commissioner, you know. I stand out here all Doris Day. <laughs> Whether it's Claude Rains or Ronald Shiners, I'm always here. <laughs> Elka Summer or Shelley Winters, it's always <laughs> Oh, I've got some mixed memories, though. I remember when I was a little Alan lad living down Sydney Green Street, you know. <laughs> we used to go round kicking folks' diners' doors. <laughs> then at Christmas time, we'd go singing Madeline carols outside the same diner doors. <laughs> and banging on the knockers. <laughs> of course, when I was Robert Young, I was really Cornell Wild. I, I used to go Sarah Miles after me Warren Oaks, I did. <laughs> First girl I met, she was a bit too Ron Moody, you know. <laughs> Always Roy Bolt in her food, and she had a face like a Jack Lemon. <laughs> then I met the first real love of my life. Oh, she was lovely. She had flashing brown eyes, a very cool Fred Astaire, <laughs> and lovely big Ginger Rogers. <laughs> well, I was getting Henry fonder of her all the time, but then she started a Tom mix with the wrong people, you know. <laughs> A few months later, she gave birth to Anthony Quinns. <laughs> she tried to make out it was me, what Irene had done it. And all. <laughs> she tried to make me marry her, but I said, I'm Dirk Bogart if I were. <laughs> I think she married a Peter Lorry driver in the finish. <laughs> then, of course, I got a bit more victim mature, but... Uh, <laughs> While I was still too Loretta Young, I married this Raquel Welsh girl from Cardiff. But we had a Robert Stack up after a few years. Well, I got home one night, heard of Jane Russell in the bushes. I found her with another Anthony Mann, giving her a Gregory Peck on the cheek. Well, of course, I was in the right Sydney Fury, wasn't I? I picked up a Patricia Rock and Danny Kyoto with it. Before I knew it, I was all round to the Clara Bow Street in front of the old James Robertson Justice. He gave me two years on the Roger Moore. I did ask for Stanley Holloway, but he said that was a woman's prison. <laughs> Mind you, that took the clear bloom from my cheeks, I could tell you. <laughs> After that, I tried living in Burt Lancaster and even Susanna York, but uh, I'll come back to dear old Julie London eventually. <laughs> you know, I tried various jobs. I was, uh, I was a Christopher Plummer for the council one time. <laughs> Then I worked as an arbor gardener for the Larry Parks department. <laughs> I even got a job as a Carol Baker, but I kept burning the Lee J. Cobbs and nasty Joey. <laughs> That's my trouble now, you see. I keep going out on the Noah Beery. That's my trouble. <laughs> Drinking the Alec Guinness. I wake up with a lousy John Payne in the stomach. You don't go till I've had a glass of Harry Andrews liver salts and a couple of Michael Rennies. <laughs> I'm all on me Richard Todd now, of course. Well, I wouldn't get married again at any Dennis Price. <laughs> Very hard up, living on Joan Crawford's cream crackers, spread around the famous mustard. Still, I live in Bob Hope. <laughs> Although most of me little hairs are falling out and the rest are going pearl white. <laughs> I could have done better with me life, I carry Grant, yeah, yeah. <laughs> better than standing here all the rain day, getting spotted by the Walter Pigeon. <laughs> Still, after all, I suppose I should think myself lucky I don't work at the seaside, you know. <laughs> Wouldn't be Walter Pigeons then, it'd be George Seagulls instead. <laughs> you just can't keen and win, can you? <laughs>